is so sorrowful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I'm praying for you, church. <laughs>
you'd be upset. Yeah. And that person that you held in high regard as your friend, you would talk to them for the next six months. <laughs> <laughs> then the question has to be, do we really want to hear the truth? Oh, take the time, baby. Or do we just want to hear what we want to hear? Right. Well, and so Jesus is saying, you know what? If you're someone that, that's born of God, if you're someone that's born of, uh, again, as Jesus would say, from up above, if you're someone that's born of the Spirit, you are going to be a lover of truth. Amen. Even if it hurts your feelings. Yeah. Yeah. Pilate then, as he's discoursing with Jesus, asked a very interesting question, what is true? Well, what is true? And here's a question that we should constantly be asking ourselves, and especially in the current world that we live in, because the truth gets so convoluted. And we're living in a world where everybody wants to sell, and the only reason it's for sale is because And so, uh, at every turn, we should be stopping and asking ourselves, is this true? Man, man. And Pilate is asking the question, a man of means, a man in, in authority, a man of great position is saying, what is the truth? I hear what these people are saying, and I know what they want me to do, and I hear what you are saying, but what? is the truth. When he said this, he went out again to the Jews and said to them, I find in this man no fault at all, Pilate, then there is the truth. Amen. Amen. And I'll be that way. Amen. The truth is staring us in the face. Amen. We know what's right. Yeah. And yet we're struggling with doing what's right. We're struggling with, with gravitating to truth even though it's standing right in front of us. Amen. Yes, oh, what a great question, Pilate. What then is true? Uh -huh. As we ask that question, I looked at Macmillan's dictionary where, you know, and, and, and this is interesting because sometimes we have words and, and we utilize words and, and there are words that, that we, we've heard all our lives but, but have we actually ever stopped? If someone asks you to define a thing, could you effectively define it for them? So Macmillan's dictionary says this, here are a couple of di uh, uh, dictionary definitions of the word truth. Macmillan says that truth is the actual facts or information about something rather than what people think. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Rather than what people expect Amen. and rather than what people make up. Amen. Amen. And, and my God, uh, oftentimes I'm looking at people who are just charlatans and it amazes me how people can't tell that man is lying. Come on. Amen. Come on. Hey man, look at all your politicians. It amazes me how you all look at these people and you can't tell that man's lying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That man's a, a fraud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That man, and you know, and then charlatans play on the fact that people, I, I just have to realize, I don't have to tell the truth. I just need to tell people what they want to hear. So, so oftentimes in our political life, we fall for people who, uh, who, are, who play on the fact that we don't really need actual facts. We don't really want true information. We just want somebody that's going to placate to our own preconceived notions and ideas. Well, well. Mm -hmm. But truth is, is actual fact is something that can be verified. Macmillan goes on to say that truth is an idea that is accepted by most people as being true. Man. You know, when you have something that's true, uh, I think the framers of, of, our, of our democracy said something about truth, which always struck me as interesting. They said, we hold these truths to be self-evident.
that is a reward of them that diligently seek him. And that's for anybody that's looking at your life and your life is not what you think it ought to be. And that's for anybody that's looking at your life and saying, well, I asked God for this and, and I asked God for that. And God ain't never did nothing for me. Well, this scripture right here tells us you ain't got what you thought you should have because you ain't really been seeking him. And if you've been seeking him, you'll find out you got everything that you need. God is. And God is a reward. Amen. If you, if, if you do the work and if you seek out the God, the Bible
Jesus prays to God, this true and living God. And he says, keep through your own name those you have given me. Keep them, God, yes. that they may be one as we are one. Amen. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. Yes. You gave them to me, uh -huh. and I have kept them. And, and none of them is lost except the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Amen. And now, now I'm coming to you. I come to thee. These things I speak in the world that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Yeah. Jesus says, I have given them your word. Yeah. The world have hated them because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. But I have given them your word. Yeah. Sanctify them to your truth. Yeah. Jesus says, your word is true. That doctrinal, doctrinal point and number two, God's word is true. Yeah. God's word is true.
turn the truth into a lie. Changing one word, you can take something that's sanctified by God and make it a lie by changing one word. And in this case, you change man and woman to man and man. Change one word, make the whole thing a lie, didn't you? You took man and woman and you made it woman and woman. You changed one word, you made the whole thing a lie, didn't you? You trying to convince me it's the same. Good. Open your Bible and show it to me. Open your Bible and show me where a woman married a woman and God said, this is good. Show it to me. Oh, 
Jordan, Mr. Peters. He was taught by old people who expected you to learn what you're supposed to learn, read what you're supposed to read, and do your own work. And no, you don't get a do-over. No, you don't get to turn it in to me six weeks later than I told you to turn it in. Yeah, come on. Oh, he's so mean. No, I was just raised by different people. to what the old prophets taught us. The holy prophets taught us the commandments. The commandments of the apostles and our Lord and Savior. Why should I listen to you, you new preacher? Uh, and especially when the thing you say is totally different than what the prophets said. The thing that you're preaching is totally different than what Jesus preached. Now which one should I listen to? Should I listen to you or Jesus? I'm going to follow Jesus every time. Amen. Knowing this first, that in the last days, there are going to come scoffers. Don't we see that today? Amen. Are there some people that speak against the church? And there are some people speaking against religion? Are there some people that are speaking against God? Amen. And you know the thing that gets me is not just the fact that they'll speak, it's the boldness with which they do it. Put it on TV, that's right. That's right, prime time. Amen. You have a number one show, hit, and they 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 degrading so many things about religion and God, and, they, and we call it number one. God said, you gotta know this, they're gonna come, walking after their own lust, and then have a nerve to say, where's the promise of his coming? You people that's talking about.
will be on fire. They're going to be dissolved. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What are you saying, Peter? Church of God, child of God, don't ever forget that God's word is true. Amen. Knowing this. Yes. On another scripture, Paul said, knowing the, knowing the terror of the Lord. Yeah. Knowing that God's word is true, but knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men to turn from the lie. We persuade men to turn from their evil. We persuade men to turn to the truth. Amen. Knowing the terror of the Lord. Doctrine point number three is, Jesus is God. And his word is true. Amen. Jesus is God. It's a very popular notion in the world today that Jesus, Jesus is not God. Uh, there's a very popular notion in the world. There's some theologians, there's some theologians at schools, that at, at schools, uh, seminaries, that actually teach people who are supposed to be learning to be preachers, they teach at seminaries that Jesus was not God. Mm. Now come on, man. Now, now what a sad state we live in. Now, well, listen, if Jesus wasn't God, what you preaching for, man? <laughs> what you doing? The day you learned that Jesus wasn't God, you should have dropped out of school, brother. Change your major to something else. You actually have somebody trying to teach that Jesus is not God. And if he didn't die, there's, somebody, there's a notion that says he never lived. Amen. Mm. At least some of the theologians are saying, no, 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 I'm not saying that he didn't live. Now, they'll say, that's crazy. Hey, we do know the historical Jesus, uh, but we're not saying he was God. Okay, there's something that's going to say, no, 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 I'm saying that he wasn't God because he never, he would never live. Listen, listen if, Jesus ne if Jesus never lived and if Jesus wasn't God, well, you're in a sad state, aren't you? Because the Bible says that if he didn't die and he didn't raise from the dead, you are yet still in your sins. Amen. Amen. And if he wasn't God, if Jesus isn't, if Jesus wasn't God, I, I often get graphic and say it this way. Open your Bible, tell. So if he promised you, I'm going to prepare a place for you, and I'm going to come and receive you again. To he can't promise you that if he wasn't God. Amen. Amen. He, he, he got a nerve to say, I'm alone. I'm with you always, even to the end. He can't promise you that if he wasn't God. What, what, a, what kind of world are we living in when we have a Savior that can't? What a sad world. We, we, are, we are just as lost as we were when Adam and Eve took the fruit. We just died and, and we're going to, to, to our grave. Well, Jesus says, John chapter 10, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. Yes. Jesus says, I give them eternal life. Yes. And if I give them eternal life, they shall never perish. Right. And no man is ever going to be able to, to pluck them out of, of my hand. Right. I love that. Yes, sir. That Jesus is saying, if you mine and, and you belong to me, I'll never lose you. Right. You don't ever have to worry about, about the things I'm preaching again. Because Jesus is saying,
you're a fool and you're headed for what fools get. You believe, you follow a lie, you believe a lie, and you're going to be just like those who live a lie. Yes. You're going to live a, 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 a lie, you're going to die a fool, and you're going to lift up your eyes in hell. Amen. And the Jews, when they heard this, this is for people, there are some people who said Jesus never claimed to be God. John chapter 10, verse 27 through 30. Jesus is claiming to be God. Do you see that? Amen. There are some people who, who will actually say, because they read the scripture, and they'll say, uh, uh, Jesus never said that he was God. He said it right here. He said, me and my father are one. Right. Well, no, he was just saying it. No, he wasn't. He said, the same power of God I have, I have. Did you see that? He said, God is able to get those who you love and hold them in his hand. Nobody can pluck them out. And Jesus says, I can do the same thing. Man. What's he saying? He said, he's God, isn't he? Man. There's another scripture where Jesus says, before Abraham was, I, I am. I what, is, what, what was he saying? He said, I'm God. He said, I was here before Abraham. Man. He said, I made Abraham. Man. He said, I, I, Abraham, they, they, before all these people you fought in great man, I was before them. Is that, is that a God claim? That's a God claim. And if you don't think it's a God claim, that's, that's just because you don't know your Bible. Say 
in the light. And here's a, here is, I, I mean, this is one of the most grandiose statements in all of the Bible. No man comes to the Father but by me. Oprah Winfrey, you are wrong. There are not many ways to God. Amen. And I'm going to believe Jesus before I believe Oprah. Amen. Oprah says many ways to God, but Jesus says there's only one way. And Jesus says, I am the way. On another text, he says, I am the door. Yes, sir. If a man come up any other way, he cannot enter. Hey, we have to, we have to understand and we have to gravitate to the truth that flows from the mouth of God and to the truth that flows from the mouth of Jesus. Man. Yes. Now, what should we do? Simple. Challenge the lie. Amen. Amen. Challenge the lie. Yes, sir. The thing that fascinates me about, about liars is they're challenging the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 They don't have no problem challenging the truth. Amen. Amen. They, they, they have no problem changing the truth of God into a lie. Amen. No, they don't break they, they have no problem challenging truth. We just have a problem challenging the lie. Come on, come on, Why do you have a problem challenging the lie? They don't have no problem challenging truth. And you know something about a lie is when it goes unchecked. Don't it, don't it? When a lie goes unchallenged. It don't just lie and just stay right there. No, sir. It grows, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Have you seen our world? Mm -hmm. Every day. Have you seen the lies growing? Mm -hmm. You've seen the lies getting bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. You know, next week we're going to talk about uh, this one I just knew. I think, my God. I mean, Jesus, it would make you almost want to say, just burn it up now, right? <laughs> Just burn it, burn it up now. We got some people sitting here saying, uh-uh. Yeah, come on. <laughs> it ain't, it ain't gonna get no better. No, it's not. Amen. And then another book. Evil men shall wax worse and worse. It's, it's so bad now. It's so bad. We, it's so bad we entertain foolish questions. Well, yep. Uh-huh. People have the nerve to even say, uh, you know, we, we'll make the claim and say, well, God, God want a man to marry a woman. And now the new thing is, what is a woman? <laughs> what, what is a woman? <laughs> Who gets to say what a woman is? God. You can't say he ain't a woman. He say he feel like a woman inside. <coughs> so if he say he feel like a woman and he say he a woman, who are you to say he's not a woman? And I, some of them, they check me this morning. They'll say, then why do you keep calling him he? <laughs> <laughs> See, you disrespectful. <laughs> Call a she. I got one at my school who say, uh, my pronouns are they, them, us, and we, and you can call me that. I said, well, how about I call you nothing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do you one better. I'm going to call you uh, what's, what's written in the system. I'm, I'm going to call you what your mom will put down on the paper when she registered you. Well, Everybody coming to Mr. Peterson, oh, you know you can't, I get that with I can't. <laughs> Who put this in the system? I didn't put this in the system. <laughs> but when I you put his gender there. You put me. You put his name. If you don't like that name, I, I, I don't care what name he likes. <laughs> it's the name his mama gave me. Yes. This was on his birth certificate. Yes. <laughs> All right now. You don't like me, come change it in this. Just your system. All they got to do is click here or not here. We live in a world of lies. The lies get so bad. I'm going to tell you what I know for a fact. Lies so bad, people in 
the church don't know the difference. Yes. I know, I know. We won't say that. I don't know. I'm calling you out church people. We we are we, we get with this foolishness too. This non-binary and gender affirm. We 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 get with this foolishness too. You do that. That's your business. What I'm doing today, this is my business. You can believe a lot if you want to. It's my job to call you out on your life. Yes. Amen. It's my job to publish truth. Amen. And what you do with truth after it's published is well, it's your business. Yes. Come on. But the truth has to be spoken. And the truth will always stay. Amen. It's eternal. And it doesn't change, you know, because we like to say, well, we're in a new age now. And, and, and you know, that's the way the uh, old folk used to do it. And they were just closed minded and listen, 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 listen. If they held the thoughts and the beliefs that we hold today, we wouldn't even be here. Yeah. Yeah. That's all yeah. if, if, if we really tried to work this experiment the way that y'all Christ, we invite you to come as we together stand and sing a song of encouragement. 